Hello, hello, hello. Happy Saturday for me and a probably very concerned and cold Miss Rue <laughs> down here. Miss Rue, why do we look so sad? It's uh, 57 degrees this morning, which means Arctic tundra for this little muffin. Come here, she's so beautiful and cold. Oh my goodness, you think we just tortured her before the video. Mwah. Okay. <laughs> so guys, thanks so much for joining me this morning. We are not going to be like little Rue. We are going to be hot and sweaty pretty darn quick this morning. So I want to try to keep this super short and sweet before we get started. So uh, what do you need today? Pretty simple. You just need um, upper body weights and probably a light, medium, heavy in your upper body. We're doing combination exercises with upper body, um, combining some stuff that's normally lighter with some stuff that's normally a little heavier. So just go ahead and grab your full upper body sort of weight selection. And then you just need your yoga mat today, and that's going to be it. So nothing too complicated. Um, you do have the option um, if you want to add some weight to your lower body, um, but I'm not going to take that option. And in fact, full disclosure, I'm having a lot of trouble with my right knee today. A lot of trouble with my right knee today. So, um, and of course today I picked to write this crazy upper, or I'm sorry, this crazy lower body challenging Tabata. Of course I did. So. Um, I will maybe be modifying, maybe not be able to do the whole thing, um, so I will do the best that I can, but even if I have to bail on some things, I will of course keep coaching you through. So um, I will definitely not be using weights, but there are some exercises in our lower body Tabata that you can add weights if you want to. So it should be pretty apparent, but I will try to point it out as well. So we are doing a Tabata workout today. So just a real quick rundown on Tabata. It is hot. It is sweaty, it is breathy, it is a lot. Um, it's a lot of cardio, even though this particular um, Tabata set, we are not doing any traditional cardio. So you guys know I do a cardio Tabata where it's literally three sets of cardio, excuse me, three sets of cardio, um, but that is not the case today. We're doing a lower body, an upper body, and a core set, but cardio gets involved. One, because of the pace at which we move, it is a lot of work, almost nonstop. Um, so cardio comes into play there. And then also we are doing almost everything, all of the upper body is combination exercises. Lower body is partially um, combination exercises. And core has a little bit of that component as well. So both in the pace that we're moving and in the way that we're moving, we're gonna get cardio out of this Tabata pretty intensely. So don't freak out, don't get upset, don't get worried, just listen to your body, make sure you're moving at the pace that's right for you. And if you start to get uncomfortable, no, that's okay. If you need to take a little break, take an extra 20 seconds off, something like that, please do. But if you are, efforting to the max, but still feel comfortable, like, okay, this is a, a rate I'm comfortable with, I'm familiar with, I know I'm good, then I encourage you to keep pushing and try to stick with it as long as you can. And of course, if you feel like anything is going absolutely wrong, please, please, please slow it down. Don't sit down, slow it down and really evaluate what's going on. Determine, make sure that you don't need any help, okay? I'm not there with you, so you've got to really listen to yourself and listen to your own body. So we're going to be doing three sets, like I said, a lower body, an upper body, and a core. We're going to be working in Tabata style. So we've got five exercises. There's a lot of numbers I'm going to throw at you, but don't worry. A timer is going to keep up with all of it. So Tabata, each Tabata is going to be comprised of five exercises. We're going to do each one for 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. 40, 20, 40, 20. We're going to go through all five exercises a total of three times. So that's going to be 15 minutes straight of 40 seconds on, 20 seconds on, 40, 20. And then at the end of that, we take a three minute break, really calm it down, simmer it down, and then we're going to go into the next Tabata. Okay, so we're going to do that whole piece three times today. So that's how we're moving. Again, a whole lot of numbers. Don't worry, you have a timer, you have me, we'll get through this together. Um, like I said, don't panic, hang in there, modify as you need it. I will surely, if not be modifying, be doing very small versions of a lot of these movements. Unless, you know, 
No. <laughs> Sometimes movement um, can help loosen up uh, when you have problems and some pain. So I'm hoping that's what happens today, but I'm not too, too feeling too positive about that. So I'll show you modifications and you'll probably see me doing some as well. And of course, add music if you need it. Um, that definitely helps keep things more flowing and more moving gro and grooving. I haven't had music working out in almost two years now, so that would be a foreign concept to me at this point. And lastly, guys, as always, just a couple things. Um, please, please, please share, like, subscribe, do all those things on social media that help us get more attention paid to us and all of those crazy algorithms that control our lives. So please, please, please do anything that you can to help get us out in front of more people. And lastly, if you would please consider donating. Again, as I always say, donations are the only payment I receive for these classes. So if you ever consider donating, or perhaps if you work for a company that would consider sponsoring something like this that would partner well with the message that we have here at Strong Style Fitness, please reach out. Otherwise, you can Venmo me at Strong Style Fit on Venmo, and that is where you can send any donations. All right, guys, so I'm gonna take a drink of water. Looks like our timer is all good to go, so we're all set there. So you're drinking water, we're gonna check out the video, and then we will get started um, with our lower body Tabata. So I'll tell you the first exercise before we get started, and then I'll just kind of introduce them to you in the breaks in between. All right, guys, I will be right back. So the first thing we're going to do, guys, is a squat with an alternating front kick. So when I say front kick, I don't want you to think rock heads like da, 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 da. I want you to think about kicking, pushing somebody away from you. So we're going to squat, push, squat, and push, kick away, squat, and push. So that's our alternating squat front kick. So that's gonna be exercise number one. Now I encourage you, of course, first round, we're getting warmed up, so don't go too crazy, but you really wanna move at like a nice, fast pace. I'm gonna be moving a little bit slower just to kind of protect this angry knee, but you are welcome to crank it up as fast as you want, okay? All right, guys, I'm gonna hit this timer and we're gonna get started. All right, let's go. So we squat, we kick, we squat, we kick. So push, push that person away. Push them away. Yeah, woo, almost went backwards with that one. Push them away. Now you wanna make sure in your kick that you're not extending your leg and locking out that knee. Leave a little bit in that knee. You'll actually find you feel like you have more power that way too. Push, push, push. Now again, this is first round. We're just warming up, so kinda of ease into your pace. But as you feel comfortable, crank that up as fast as you want. All right, so now we're gonna do a front to back lunge. So, front to back lunge. Make sure I'm in a room so you can see me. We're gonna keep one leg in our stationary leg. So let's say our right leg. We're gonna step forward into a front lunge, back to the middle, and into a back lunge. So we step forward into front and then rock into back. I know you're kind of losing my front lunge here, but that is just all the space that I have. So front lunge, back, back lunge, back. And again, you can move a little faster. I'm just going to keep reminding you guys not to dwell on it, but so you know, especially if you didn't tune in the beginning. I'm moving a little slower, to protect my right knee today. But again, move as fast as you want, okay? Just make sure you're not being sloppy. We're going to do the same movement, but now our left leg is going to be our pivot leg. Our right leg is going to do the work. So now we front lunge. Push back, back lunge to the middle. Front lunge, push back, back lunge, push forward. 
So as you can see, the cardio comes, right? Even if you're moving a little more slowly, like I might be. All right, so now we've got skaters. A couple variations of skaters. I'll be doing the modified version. I'll show you a couple of the non-modified, but it does involve some hopping. So if you are someone who does not hop or jump or skip, then I'll show you where to go. All right, so skaters, think of like a power skater. So you're going to come across and sweep, sweep like a power skater would. Little hops across, or just take big steps, big steps. You wanna use those arms. Again, you can add hops, make this as big as you want. Woo! All right, so we're going to an alternating lateral lunge. So we're going to start wide. Now don't go insanely wide, <laughs> just start nice and wide. And then we're going to lateral lunge to one leg. So when you lateral lunge, you still want to have your weight over the leg. You don't want to be so wide that your leg's out here and you're squatting to the middle. So we're going to lateral lunge, come to the middle, lateral lunge to the other side. So the mistake comes when you go really wide and your leg's way up here, and you're squatting into the middle. That's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to still sit our weight over the leg, knee, ankle, feet, okay? All right, so that's five. We're back to the top. So now we've got the squat with the front kick. So, whew, <laughs> front to back lunge. You can hold weights down by your side or you can hold a weight to your chest. Skaters, I wouldn't hold a weight. Squat with front kick. I don't think I'd hold a weight. Lateral lunge, you could hold a weight to your chest. Squat, front kick. Whew. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend holding a weight for this one or skaters. The other three, go right ahead if you wanna add it. Make sure you're breathing. We tend to hold our breath when we move fast. Front to back lunges. Catch your breath. I like to keep moving, even in these short little breaks. Just kind of distracts. All right. So I'm gonna have my right leg is my pivot leg. Step forward into the front lunge, push to the middle, the back. Now, if you want to challenge yourself, you can try not touching your foot down and just pulling it through. Or you can always stop in the middle, come back. side. So I kind of played around with both just to see what my knee can handle today. So, but yeah, either way you want to do it. It's really, it's really up to you. All right, so left leg, pivot leg now. Push. Step it back. Guys, make sure when you're stepping forward and back in these lunges that your hips or that your feet are staying in line with your hips. 
If you notice that your balance is really, really crazy, really not working, it might be that you're stepping your feet one behind the other instead of keeping your feet in line with your hips. We say you might be doing a balance beam instead of walking on railroad tracks. So you want to be on those railroad tracks so you're nice and wide and supportive. All right, we've got skaters. All right, so remember we can hop or if you're able, a big jump even, or just keep it on the ground, step and step. If you're keeping it modified like I am, I really, I always recommend use your arms and skaters for momentum, but also it helps bring your cardio up by moving your arms. So if you're modifying and not jumping, you can move a little faster, really incorporate some big arms, you'll get the same benefits. All right, lateral lunges. So again, set up wide, but not too wide. Get yourself set, catch your breath. You really want to aim to be kind of like where I am, where you've got about four words, three words that you can get out before you have to take a breath. So again, guys, we're sitting our hips back into these lateral lunges. We're not jutting forward into our knee. That happens a lot in lateral lunge. We're still sitting back. Everything still comes right back into that deep chair. Keep that chest nice and tall. Of course, you're gonna fold. It's the nature of the exercise, but I don't wanna see that, okay? All right, guys, believe it or not, we are already through two rounds of the first Tabata. <sighs> One more trip through. <sighs> I gotta say, the movement <laughs> is feeling a little better for me. Remember guys, don't lock out that knee at the top when you kick. Leave a little bend, poof, push it away. Boom, push them away. Good job, friends. Last time you have to do that one. Front to back lunge, coming up. Left leg, I'm sorry, right leg. It's gonna be my pivot leg. Step forward, back to the middle, and then back. Or you can try up the game a little bit, not touch down in the middle, just pull it through. with the not touching down, but it's a little balancey for you. You can always trace the wall with your fingers. And that gives us some steadiness without giving us too much help, right? All right, left leg, pivot leg, forward, drive, push it back. Again, pick that focal point that's not moving, even though you are. <laughs> you 
go, guys. Ah, skaters. Ah. It's so interesting to do these exercises. We're not running, we're not jumping, we're not even jogging. <laughs> Just these movements, the amount of cardio you can get from it. All right, skaters. So again, you've got that big push, push, you're landing into this leg, landing solid. It's catching your weight. And then you're imagining with your sweeping foot that you're pushing through that ice, pushing through that ice. Big arms. Also helps get those shoulders warmed up for our upper body Tabata coming up. All right, lateral lunge, last one. It's wild to me how fast these Tabatas fly by. Many of you just feel so different because when we do circuit, we do one minute. So 40 seconds just seems super short, right? But in circuit, we don't go for 15 minutes straight without a long break. Good job, guys. You might feel too a big stretch through that inner thigh. Perfect. Added benefit of this exercise. Awesome guys. So we got a three minute break here. So <laughs> my speech about three minute breaks, because that is a long break, right? And so we want to make sure that we don't become cold in that three minutes. So if you're working out in a cold space, very well air conditioned space, or like today, it's cooler here, so it's a little cooler in the garage than I'm used to, you wanna stay active. Most of us, no matter where we're working out, we need to at least be step touching through this break. Or walking around picking up equipment, whatever. We need to be doing something to stay active. It's called active recovery. The reason why we do that is because we've just spent 15 minutes getting our body warm, getting our body prepared for exercise, and then if we take three minutes and get totally cold, we've just kind of lost the benefit of that first 15 minutes of work. So, you want to make sure that while you want your heart rate to come down, you want your talk to be conversational again, you don't want to be completely cool relaxed and ready to take a nap, okay? So keep moving. For some of us, that might mean you really need to effort it. You might need to go do some steps, walk up and down your steps, something like that. Or for others, just a step touch will suffice. So we've got a minute and a half left. We're going to upper body. So make sure you have your upper body weights ready. I'm going to make my selections. Yes, I'm setting out a million different weights. <laughs> just want to make sure I have all my options. We've got just under a minute, guys. I'm going to check on the video real fast, and then we'll get going here in 45 seconds. All right. So we're starting with a bicep curl, hammer curl to overhead press. So we bicep curl up to our shoulders and then we push into overhead press. So that's gonna be exercise one. For most of us, bicep curl and that overhead press is probably about in the same range. So that one's probably, you can pick up your bicep curl weight and do the whole thing. Um, some of our other ones, really one specifically, you might have to kind of meet yourself in the middle, but we'll cover that when we get there. 
All right, bicep curl to overhead press. Shoulders back and down. We curl up, we push overhead, lower, lower. Curl up, push overhead, lower and lower. Good, curl, push. Now guys, make sure you're still keeping those elbows pointed down when you bicep curl. So don't let the flow of this motion make you do this, okay? So you wanna keep those elbows down, curl, and then push. All right, guys, so we're going to an alternating row with a reverse fly. So, row and fly kind of body position is the same as far as we're gonna sit back just a little bit. We're gonna let our chest tick tock forward just a little bit. And then our rows, keep that chest nice and open. We're gonna roll, pull elbows past ribs, row, other side, bow those elbows, reverse fly. Pull the elbow back, pull the elbow back, bow, squeeze between the shoulder blades. Pull back, pull back, fly. So just remember when you go to fly to put that bend in your elbow, okay? Don't try to fly with straight, don't try to fly from here, okay? Row, row, fly. I'm gonna take one more just because I missed a couple seconds. There we go. So now we're gonna do front raise, lateral raise with a little bit of a squat to it. And this is again, just to kind of up that cardio component a little bit. So we're gonna front raise with our hammer grip and do a little squat. So we're going to front raise with a little squat, lateral raise as we stand, front raise, Lateral, so as a reminder, front raise, we keep, we stop about shoulder height. Lateral raise, we keep about shoulder height. When we lateral, we get a little bit of bend in those elbows. Now you can make the squat as big as you want with your front raise. I'm just protecting my knee, so I'm keeping my squat a little small. I survived the leg round, <laughs> I don't wanna push it. All right, we're gonna come down to the floor. We're gonna do a bench press with skull crushers. So this is where you might have to make a little bit of adjustment because your bench press weight is likely higher than your skull crusher weight. So really listen to the form on this. So bench press, 45 degree angle, come up, Flip the weights, lower to your skull crusher, back up. Flip the weights, bench press, flip, skull crush. So skull crusher, shoulder to elbow, stays in place. You're just bending at the elbow to drop those weights down, fire up those triceps, bench press. Perfect. All right, so guys, we're gonna do plank variations. So we'll do a different variation of plank each round. So this first round, we're just gonna hold plank for 40 seconds. So fingers nice and wide, chest shines through, those arms, we step back, drive through those heels, so let's start at our feet, drive through the heels, belly, up and in and engage, chest, heart shines through the gateway of your arms, fingers nice and wide, push that floor away, shoulders down away from your ears, gaze slightly out and down, and we hold. Believe it or not, you're already almost there. Perfect, good job guys. So, at 40 seconds is a long time to plank for you. All I say is for 40 seconds, keep trying. If you have to put your knees down, if you have to stop completely, for 40 seconds, keep trying. And you did a 40 second plank. 
Right, back to those bicep curls. So for me, it's all about putting in the effort for the time given. So if you're told to do a two minute plank and you have to keep, you know, have to drop to your knees, then you have to stop. Then you come back, go right back to your knees, stop. As long as you do that for two minutes, to me, you have a two minute plank. That's how we get stronger. So we keep trying. If you only hold it for 15 seconds and then you just stop for the remaining time and never try again, you're not gonna get better. You have to keep going back to it. I guess that's true with anything, right? You just have to keep trying, keep putting in your best effort. And that's how you get better. That's why I've always encouraged my group fitness classes. We used to do point challenges. And we would all just encourage each other to keep trying. Keep trying for that whole minute. All right, guys, we've got that alternating row. Elbow scrapes the ribs. Scrape the ribs. Bow the elbows. Squeeze between the shoulder blades. Straighten those arms back out. Lead, bow, shoulder blades. Elbow straight back. Elbow straight back. Bow. Good. Just want to make sure you guys are understanding the arm transitions in some of these. So for here, you might have to sacrifice your row weight a little bit for the reverse fly. All right, so we've got the front raise with the squat, lateral raise as you stand. So remember with these front raises with the squat, you can make the squat a full squat if you want. The one thing I want you to watch out for, I'll do one just to show you, is make sure you're still stopping at shoulder height. Sometimes when we add a big squat, we swing the weights really high. That's not what we're looking for. You want to squat, stop at the shoulder, Lift. Perfect. Down to the floor, bench press with the skull crusher. So again, you may or may not have to sacrifice your bench press weight. This is like my comfortable effort bench weight, but not my max effort bench weight that I've been doing. But it really pushes my skull crusher effort, so that's why I'm picking that way. I've discovered I can bench press with 25s, but I certainly cannot skull crush with 25s. So remember, skull crusher, shoulder to elbow stays in place. You're just bending at the elbow, coming back. So we've got another plank. We're going to do a variation. We're going to do plank ah, up downs. So I strongly encourage you to start and modify just to get a feel for it and then see where you want to go from there. So to modify our plank, we come up into plank and then we drop our knees. From here, we're going to keep that belly engaged. We're going to drop down to an elbow, down to an elbow, push, push. Down the elbow plank, push, push. I strongly encourage you to lead with a different hand each time. And your push up. Woo! All right, friends. One more trip through. Again, somehow <laughs> we're already through two rounds of our upper body. <sighs> Grab water anytime you need it, guys. I'm definitely not one who gives you permission to get water. 
you always have my permission to get water. Unless it strategically comes with the exercise you hate the most. <laughs> then you don't have my permission. <sighs> Curl. Push. Down. Down. Elbows locked into those sides for the bicep curl. Bring the shoulders down away from the ears. All right, we've got that alternating row with a reverse flat. So if your row weight, like me, is lighter than you would normally do, then take this opportunity with the lighter weight to really focus on that engagement through your back. So really focus on that squeeze. Bow and open. Sometimes like in a row, when the weight's really heavy, we use a little momentum to get it up, right? So if your row weight is a little light to compromise for your fly, then just really take it a little slower and squeeze, squeeze. Down to the floor. Oh no, not down to the floor. Front raise, lateral raise. <laughs> not going quite that quick, Tracy. <laughs> and again, you know, this is just upper body work, no cardio. And while I'm not insanely breathy, I am sweating. My heart rate is elevated for sure. So again, it's just the pace and doing these combination exercises that really puts us into that high effort. And if you think about it, how cool is it that like this upper body segment is 15 minutes on the clock. Fifteen minutes on the clock. And we are hitting every part of the upper body three rounds through in 15 minutes. So that's pretty cool. You think about it. I mean, if there's a day where literally you only have 15 minutes you think you can squeeze in, you can just put this video on, skip to this point, and get in 15 minutes of solid upper body work. Perfect. All right. Plank variation. This time we're going to do plank reach outs. So again, I encourage you to work in modified and then see if you want to go up from there. So we modify again, go into a plank, set our knees down. From here, you might want to widen your knees just a little bit and we're just going to reach out. Again, widen those knees so you have a nice, strong base of support. Or if you're up in full plank, just widen your stance with your feet a little bit. Almost there. And also too, and that's your break, guys, you'll notice your body adjusts. Like my first two, I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Because your brain is like, wait, what are we, what is happening? But then thereby, a couple in, your brain kind of catches up to what you're doing. It's like, oh, I mean, this is still weird, but 
All right, friends, so we are through our upper body set. So we have our core set next. For our core set, you do have the option for one heavy-ish weight. Now don't need to go grab a 50, but you know, for me, I'm gonna grab, like I'll probably just go ahead and grab the 15 because it's sitting here. So just grab a heavy-ish weight, um, and you may or may not want to use it, but just have it close by in case you do. And then otherwise, we're going to just be using the mat. So again, take this time, put your weights away, keep doing something active. Chances are your heart rate, your cardio isn't quite as high from this upper body set. So you might need to put a little more effort in to staying engaged and warm. Again, we don't want to get too cool. We don't want to waste. It's not a waste. We don't want to lose the maximum benefit of the work that we just did. All right. So yeah, and if you think about it, guys, you know, like I was talking about taking this and making a 15 minute upper body workout when you just don't have much time. You know, I counted, like we did the bench press, skull crushers, well that's two exercises, right? So really that would be two reps. I counted to six. Yeah, I got six or no, I got almost, I got eight, I believe. I think I got eight. Yeah, I got eight full sets. So one, two. So that's actually like 16 reps I got in in that 40 seconds. So if you think about it, you're really getting like a full set of work in in that 15 minutes because you're getting, you know, you get 12 reps in easily, I think in 40 seconds. So yeah, what I'm trying to say is that you can get a really good workout in 15 minutes if that's all the time that you have. All right, I'm gonna check out a video. We've got 30 seconds left. Then we're gonna come down to the floor. Perfect. So let's come on down to the floor. Our whole core set is gonna be in the floor. All but the first exercise we're going to be laying. So first one we're going to be up and we're going to do a Russian twist. So Russian twist, I'm going to go ahead and start coaching you. We got 10 seconds. We sit up, we've got our legs at this nice little bend here. I like to put my hands behind my knees, pull my spine up long, chest tall, string pulling me up to the ceiling and then from there we sit back until we feel our core, our belly, kick in and go, hello, I got you. From here, if you want to use a weight, you hold it to your chest and we're just gonna rotate, rotate. Now if the weight's too much, just set it off to the side, do the same motion. If you feel your lower back, one, that means maybe you don't need the weight, or two, it means that you're sitting too far back and your back is holding you up, not your core and you need to kind of pull yourself up taller for your core to support you. If you are, you know, if you're here and your lower back's like, rah, come up, because that means that your core here isn't holding you and you're just kind of dumping into your back. All right, let's come down to our belly, or I'm sorry, onto our backs. And we're gonna do a low leg scissor. So I'm gonna be a little bit off camera because I want you to be able to see my lower body. So I'm gonna put my hands below my tail for support. And then I'm gonna show you modified low leg scissor. We're opening, crossing, opening, crossing. So once you have that motion from here, once you're really engage that lower belly and then find your challenge point, and then that's where you stay. At any point, if you need to ease the challenge, just come up higher, okay? Awesome. All right, so from here, we're going to a bicycle crunch. Now, if you've done bicycle with me before, you know I don't do, a lot of people are like <laughs> with their bicycle. I like to slow it down and really focus. So from here, engage that low belly, up, pull it down and in, come up, hands. I like to just touch behind my ears, knees come up, and then we kind of slowly bicycle. This takes a lot more muscle strength and control than this. 
So we're really focusing on making those muscles work for us versus just momentum and thrashing around, as I like to call it. Knee to elbow. Make sure you're rolling that chest, that you're not just cranking through your head. So cranking through your head looks more like this, right? You're just kind of rolling from side to side. It needs to be a concentrated chest lift and rotate. Lift and rotate. All right, guys, from here, we're gonna do two pulse high leg scissors. So again, put that support under your tail. Make sure your shoulders are down. Neck is nice and long, and then here we're going to pulse, 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 pulse. Or again, guys, if this is too big, you just come up here. Don't drop your lower leg so far. Pulse, pulse. Again, that belly down and in. Belly button down towards that spine. But we're not sucking it in, right? It's not a and then hold your breath. It's more the feeling that you're trying to hold something. So I'll say this, and it's kind of a, a gross visual, but it really works. I heard a yoga instructor say, imagine, ladies, you're trying to suck a blueberry in. <laughs> you know where. And you're trying to suck a blueberry, but really, if you think about it, you're trying to pull something in. That really walks in through here, right? Okay, so this is a new one. Waterfall crunch. So our feet come up. This is a waterfall. We're going to engage our belly, lift our chest. Imagine there's a rope hanging from the ceiling between your feet, and you are climbing that rope. Climb. Climb. Climb the rope. Hand over hand. Keep climbing. Make sure you're not pulling through your neck. Keep your neck in alignment with your spine. Shoulders relaxed. Woo! Good work. So yeah, we want to keep those shoulders relaxed as we climb. We tend to start picking our shoulders up and rolling them towards our ears. Keep them relaxed. Grab, grab it. Make sure you rotate through your core versus up through your neck and shoulders. All right, Russian twist. Rotate. And keep that spine nice and long. Keep that chest reaching up towards the sky. And the difference is I'm thinking of my chest reaching up towards the sky versus letting it collapse down. See how I curve through my spine and dump into my back? You keep that chest nice and tall. Keep a nice flat back, long spine. All right, guys, low leg scissors. Again, super important for most of us to take those hands and put it under our lower back just for that little extra support off the floor. And I like to kind of tuck my shoulders under. So again, get your motion. And then once you got it, lower to where you feel challenged. Keeping that belly down and in. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Whew. All right, so we've got that bicycle crunch now. Ah, I'm gonna scoot down to the frame just a little bit more now. All right, so remember we're slowing it down just a little bit. Oh, there she is. Hi, hi, you're just in time, <laughs> sweet girl. All right, so get that belly in, chest lifts, hands behind ears or head, knees come in, rotate that chest, rotate, rotate. And again, modification, 
is to keep your bicycle higher or just alternate knees up and don't worry about the big leg extension. So many kisses. So many kisses. <laughs> All right, guys, we've got that high leg sister now. Oh my gosh, you are so gross. You are so gross. <laughs> All right, so we've got our hands under our tail again. Everything nice and long, belly down. Pulse, pulse, eh, pulse, pulse. Oh, okay, Zell, you're so good. Pulse, pulse. So remember, you can make it smaller, lessen the challenge a little bit. Or you could do one leg at a time. Got lots of options. It's important to remember in moves like this, the shorter the lever, which your legs are the lever, the easier the work. All right, guys. Last one this round. We've got that waterfall crunch with the rope climb. So, those legs are going to come up. <sighs> Enjoy it for just a moment and <laughs> wiggle those ankles. All right, so from here, and belly engages, chest lifts, shoulders are down, and then we climb. We climb. So, see, my shoulders are not coming up like this. Shoulders are down, hand over hand. Get middle core and lower belly by holding those legs up and then you're working those obliques by doing that hand over hand. Woo! All right, come on up. We've got one more trip through, guys, and then we are going to be done. It moves so fast, doesn't it, Toots? Doesn't it? It moves so fast. Yeah. You're like, no, you've been gone in eternity. <laughs> oh, thank you. All right. Get that Russian twist. So get that V-sit set. Rotate and rotate. Rizzo, this weight weighs, weighs more than you. This weighs more than you. Got those low leg scissors. Watch out, Risa. Lay it back. Put those hands under that tail for support. Lift, engage that belly. Get your scissor going. And then find your place. think of that string pulling your chest up. I can't think of a core exercise where that is not a good instruction. We 
Again, rotate that chest up and over, up and over. We're not pulling through our head. So I like to just kind of put fingertips behind my ears. It keeps me from inadvertently putting my hands back behind my head and pulling. That just naturally starts to happen, right? So if you just do fingertips behind your ears, less likely. Maybe, maybe not. I find it works for me. All right. Get the big leg scissor. One, two, one, two. Little pulses. One and two. Pulse. Pulse. Pulse, pulse. Good job, guys. Remember, you can make this as small as you need to to modify. Last one, guys. We got that rope climb, and then we will be all done. All done. I <laughs> know that's your favorite. <sighs> all right, so we got legs up. That works that lower belly and that mid belly. Chest comes up. Now that mid belly is really firing. Now we hit those obliques. We're climbing up that rope. Again, shoulders down. We're not climbing with our shoulders. It's an interesting place to sit, little girl. Almost there, guys. Hang tough. I know this is firing up every part of that middle. Ding, 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 friends. Ah, you're definitely welcome to lay on the floor. In fact, I recommend it. Lay and get a big, woo, stretch. Big good morning stretch. Pull those arms and legs as far apart as you can get them. Really enjoy that stretch. Whew. So, Tabata. <laughs> and that's one of the great things about Tabata, right? It is fast, it's effective, you can get a lot of different exercises in. I think the Tabata itself with breaks included is 50 minutes on the clock. So that is not a lot of time to spend to really hit every part of the body. I mean, you literally hit everything. So it's a great way to do it and to keep it fast and kind of exciting. No time to really dwell on anything, right? About the time you hit the misery point, it's on to the next exercise. <laughs> So guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you feel well worked, like you've got a full effort of lifting and strength and cardio. I feel like you got a full dose of everything there. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, as always, I ask, please participate on social media, however you enjoy to do so. Anything you can do really, really helps us here at Strong Style Fitness. And lastly, please consider, if you're enjoying these workouts, giving via Vidmo, Strong Style Fit is where you'll find me. I don't get paid to do these classes. I'm not sponsored by anyone. So anything you can give is a great help to me. And I genuinely appreciate those of you who have taken the time and taken the money and donated to me. So I really appreciate you guys. And thank you for joining me. And I will see you in a few days for another great workout. Mwah.